Hey guys, how's it going? This is Flash coming at you with a box break recap. Uh, on Tuesday, I ordered a box of 1415 Panini threads. Returned to that well. I really enjoyed the first box I opened and had a much better second box, as good as the first box was for me. The second box was even better. So um, I'm going to recap this um, and I'm not going to worry about showing the base. I'll just show the, the, the hits, the inserts, the numbered inserts, etc. Uh, we'll start with uh, Red Proof of Darren Collison, numbered to 199. <clears throat> and uh, for those of you unfamiliar with this product, I'm sure a lot of you watching this are familiar by now, but just giving you the front and back design. Uh, same thing, got two Red Proofs, numbered to 199. I uh, forget the odds. I think you get a couple numbered inserts per box, but that's Roddy Stuckey. And then uh, one more numbered insert as far as non-memorabilia inserts uh, this is an inside presence of Jordan Hill having a glare problem let me see if I can angle a little bit uh, the number 99 is there at the bottom as you can see um, it's non so those are my numbered uh, insert hits uh, the as far as the non-numbered insert hits got a high flyers of James Harden century greats of Bill Russell I was hoping to get a Century Stars. I know those are uh, hard to pull. One in 72 packs, which is one in 12 boxes. So I guess it's one per case, maybe. Uh, let's see, what is this? This is a uh, Floor Generals. I got two Floor Generals. One of Brandon Knight. And the other of uh, George Hill. Got a Threads insert. This is a, a die cut type insert with the uh, Throwback vintage Trailblazer jersey of Damian Lillard. Let's see, you got one talented twosomes. Very hot duo right now, and Bradley Beal and John Wall. And two inside presents. Well, actually, I had a numbered inside presence, the red proof version of Jordan Hill. This is just the regular Nikola Pekovic. Nikola Pekovic, maybe? Is it Pekovic? We haven't heard him. Uh, he's, his name's been quiet on the scene the past two years. I haven't heard much of him. And then a uh, name that. You will know now the beast that is Andre Drummond. So, finally, uh, I got one Legends of Artist Gilmore. I think these were one in seven. Most of the inserts I showed you were like either one in four or one in five, as far as the uh, the odds. So you're gonna get, you should get one or two per box. Now, moving on to the what I call the uh, the sleeve worthy hits or the uh, plastic case worthy hit. Um, so, one of the reasons this box was so great is that, you know, you get two leather rookies per box, and you can get any combo. I mean, as, as you guys know, there's 60 players drafted. You could get the third pick and the 47th pick. You could get the second pick and the, you know, 22nd pick, fifth pick and the uh, 35th pick. I could go on. There's a lot of different combinations. For my leather rookies, I got one and two. Oh. <laughs> Going back to the 2014 draft, I got the first pick in Andrew Wiggins and the second pick in Jabari Parker. Very happy about this, of course. Um, not sure what the current book values are, but I know last year when I looked, when I checked on this, uh, you had Wiggins sitting at 25 and I think, or 30, and Parker was 25. It was They were both up there. So considering I paid 34 bucks for the box, I mean, these two hits you know, in terms of book value, more than made up for it, which is crazy. So we got a view auto of Xavier Henry. He used to play for my Grizz. He's a rookie, I think. Um, he's moved on. Now here is a memorabilia card I really was happy to pull. Um, not to say that I'm a Duke fan or a Jazz fan, but uh, this is a Rodney Hood's Thread Signatures, and it looks like a jersey swatch, but it's actually a patch. And it's numbered, uh, let's see, 11, 11 of 25. Let's see if I could, uh, let's see where the numbering is. It's going to be right on his arm here. So let's see if I can get it in there. Let's see if it'll focus. Having a hard time with the glare in the back. Um, 11 of 25, and it's a sticker auto, but the patch, um, it's hard to tell. But really, the, the patch is here. You can see a little bit of... Uh, frayed thread sticking out 
upon closer examination. Um, so I think, and it bulges here, so I think the, the cut, the prime cut is kind of hidden right in, around here, so it, it looks more like a regular jersey swatch, but it's actually a patch, and you can, it's confirmed by the numbering that it is a prime swatch number to 25 so sometimes when you're confused you just gotta look at the numbering to figure out what it is so and those primes are four times the value of the base so i think that card um i'll have to check the value on that but in the around 30 35 32 eight times four 32 yeah um and then i also got a second memorabilia card number 25 and this was a uh authentic threads prime three color patch of Kawhi Leonard so definitely no doubt about the patch on this one and uh, let's see the numbering is right here on the side so 21 of 25 and uh, I think like the Rodney Hood I mean I could have been wrong about the Rodney Hood price off to double check but I know for for this insert uh, memorabilia insert set Primes are valued at a, a 4x, so four times the value of the just the regular jersey swatches. So I was really excited to pull two memorabilia cards, number 25. So far, I haven't seen a box like that yet. Um, and then last, sorry, I should start with this earlier kind of anticlimactic ending, but still, this was actually the last card of the box. So that's fitting. I ended here. Alfred Payton, just uh, your jumbo jersey threads, number to 199. Now what's cool about this card is it's, it's number one of ninety nine, number one of one ninety nine. Sorry, so eBay, you know, some eBay sellers would consider that a one of one, and it is a one of one in the sense it's the first card made. But it's, to me, it's kind of a cheap way of promoting the one of one tag. And even though this wasn't in the uh, this wasn't in the threads box, I did you know, I did get a cool card off eBay. Um, this goes back to 2011-2012 Limited. And you got a pat I got a patch card of Kevin Johnson and I just hap I don't happen to see a lot of memorabilia cards or autograph cards of Kevin Johnson. Um, <clears throat> the reason why I, I wanted to get this card out to the PC is because not only is it a sick patch and it's only number 225 as well. Um, but yeah as you can see a very great box uh, so I, I highly recommend, you know, getting one for yourself, maybe getting two since the price are so low. You'll find this product on a lot of clearance bins online and, you know, you have a lot of stores trying to liquidate their sales. So I, I, I strongly suggest, you know, investing in a product that at one point was like, what, 110, 120? And that has trickled down over the years and now it's sitting, you know, between 30 and 35 bucks. Um, so. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll catch you next time. Flash out.